Blue light death. Hates. Oh God. Of the movie. I am Milton, son of a carpenter, married dad of a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne, I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables. And this is one of them. If you like the short version, look for the Instagram post from last night. Uh, among a lot of uh, corrupt, cowardly California cop ones, because they're running wild as well. Great Wall of Evil it has just me and all of this imagery and side checking your calls to me. Check for yourself, 424-229-4140. Hates pretty pictures. And funny stories as well. And most especially, the Great Wall of Evil stretching around the world. Hates truth. Uh, they're what put uh, Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Hussein. Didn't look right, especially the man growing up in Africa to be closer to his dad during those formative years. You have heard about that Osama rumor, haven't you, that Obama is Osama's son. Put the two side by side, guys. Check out the eyes. And please, this is 2018. Do not be a hater. Did not get one comment about any of my 93 check stuff, about my, my mean parables, my funny parables, my off the wall parables, my son of the carpenter Mary parables. Not one comment that during those eight years, Hussein was doing dad knows what in our White House that they can't report on. Just like they can't report on me. Asking you for flight 93 checks for nine years and not getting one. Certify that mail, FedEx, UPS, any private carrier, make a video first, it's going to be stolen. Certify that mail, make that video. It takes just five minutes to make a video of you trying to call me with whoever's in the room right there, right there with you. 424 229 4140. Hope to get through these contact cards uh, one or two more times than I can cut them out. But as you can see, uh, yeah, just about any of those 20,000 plus, and I'm forming May. That's why I'd hope to make this short, and I'd actually hope to get some good sleep last night. But, uh, yeah, the California cops were out on the street and in the apartment down below with hatred noise designed to keep me up. Don't believe that? Well, here's something you can believe about uh, California's cops to a man to a woman. County, state, city, call them up, not emergency numbers, call them up at home. They don't mind disturbing me at my home. And ask them, why can't I reach Milton? When else will my phone not be allowed to work because of what you're actively taking part in there in California? As officials, as mayors, governors, senators, when will my phone not be allowed to work because you got Hollywood in our news? You got the Mideast Obsama PR campaign in our news and our TV. Ask them, what do you know about this? Simple, to the point. It doesn't have to have anything to do with Obsama or uh, Obama or his dad. You simply Say, I'd like to demonstrate something to you. I've been hearing about this for years. The man's been asking for Flight 93 checks for nine years and has yet to get one. And you have your wife's phone there. You got the speaker phone on and you tried to call me with her phone. Have another phone handy so you can make a video of it. Oh, plenty of phones around here. All of our phones make videos nowadays. I'm poor and I have a, a phone that makes a video. Post it as well. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me. 424-229-4140. Explain to them that boring thing. Phone ring and error message business signal is not going to be boring to you if you or your, any of your family members is trapped in a burning building, need medical care, emergency medical care. It's not going to be boring. 424-229-4140.
and yeah, it's money out of your pocket. Whatever business you're in, I bet you use the phone. That's why I called you Gates Livelihood. Whoever's a big name in your business, like Spectrum, Time Warner Cable, Next Door, with their decibel law breaking fleet, whatever is the big name in your business, yeah, you, you can't reach your customers so they can. It's managed stuff. It's subtle stuff. I was calling all day. I was there all day. I, I guess I just missed your just some kind of crossing the phone lines. Unless you talk to another person, you don't know. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines in front of mayors, governors, senators, and all California's law enforcement. Because I say they're the reason why they're here actively taking part in political, religious, business, and lifeline censorship here in Eagle Rock. So you call them on that. If they can't clean up that, tell them to call in some cops from other states who can do the job. Now, uh, you make the video, whatever you get when you don't get me, you ask officer so-and-so, senator so-and-so. Senator so-and-so's aide, uh, page, whatever they call them. Why can't I resist, man? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? What are you doing about that? If they pass the buck to the feds, especially cops, they you have plenty of uh, press conferences. I, I watch the, the news across the country, and yeah, you've already talking about how that unarmed man was shot down. Have a positive one. You're doing something proactive. You're getting things done. You're telling the world what they can see for themselves. They pick up that damn phone. You're going to pass the buck to the feds, you get names. Stretching all the way up to Donald Duck himself. What do you know about this? We want to know why our lifelines aren't working. Checking post and five. California officials. And as I said in a, uh, a parable last night, uh, Tina the tourist uh, sender. Oh, what do they call those? Tourism. She does it for a business. I had it last night. She's uh, talking to Mr. and Mrs. Jones, and they uh, had wanted to go to California. She's trying to talk them out of it. They will not listen to her. So finally, she says this you know, about uh, Stone Cold Mel. John Melton Bray asked him for Flight 93 checks for over nine years. Let me demonstrate something to you. She calls up California's. Corrupt and cowardly cops. And she says, what do you know about this? Even the uh, mayor's governor, that kind of thing. If they do not know, 266, what a Flight 93 check is at this point, after I've been asking for nine years, they are involved or they're incompetent. Tell them to go to Christ Complex Links, www.christcomplexlinks.blogspot.com and look at those years and years of YouTube's some mean, the older ones are going to be mean. Uh, they're all telling you to try to call them. To see our gates livelihood. Our hijacked lifelines. And no, not uh, one comment by phone or mail. And anything I get on YouTube, it's just bizarre. Apparently only crazy folks are allowed to comment on YouTube. I mean literally, they don't make sense. Or they are antagonistic. But says something about... YouTube's management. Remember to call them up. Ask them what you, what do you know about me not reaching this man? Puts a lot of stuff on your YouTube. What do you know about that? And I've seen, um, oh, do this. Make videos. Tell a hundred of your friends to make a video of going to one link with all of my videos there. Oh, I had to condense all of them. Join all the files because of a repetitive thing while I'm uploading the internet connection freezes up. So I have to start it over again and then YouTube won't accept the uploads. It says it's a duplicate upload and how am I going to put it in a playlist? Yeah. Make that video of that and yes, back to uh, the tourists. There's, uh, she tells them yeah, you can't. You have no idea what these guys are capable of if they're actively taking part in America's hijack lifelines. So she sends them to Florida, where they got a more competent uh, 
police system and uh, government system. Now back to my funny purple as Spectrum shows off their decibel law breaking fleet. Remember when they come to your door just like when the Mormons come to your door. Mormons are casing your neighborhood, ask them why are you casing my neighborhood. They'll explain what they do and say, well, I don't know, we don't like you here. We're going to do this, and you check and post and five in front of them. Oh, they will just turn the thing on. They take turns being the one who has to sit in the car, turn the thing in reverse, and just uh, sit there for an hour. It is Beckham's Decibel Law Breaking Fleet. It is their intentional act of participation in America's High Tech Life, and it tells me when I hear that in a video. I'm making that uh, it's a good video. So let me get to my nightly from last night that I always redo. Because I'm running out of time. It's already up to 12 minutes. When I was back in the 70s, uh, the 1970s growing up, I was about three years old when it started. And then, of course, about 13 years old uh, when it ended. And when I would see a movie. I would sit out on the porch and tell Dad. Uh, usually, you know, it might be raining. Rains a lot in Louisiana. Tell Dad about that uh, movie, whatever one it was, and we'd slap mosquitoes and and I'd tell him about the movie. And then one time he finished. When I finished, he uh, he said, son, whatever you do, don't go see oh God. Completely inaccurate. You should see the one they got to play me. Little round of a fella. Yes, this is Blue Light Dad. Came from a street family, had a whole lot of folks taking turns being them. Except for me. And Blue Light Dad, he's the one that you know, could show you how to walk on water or, or do that water into wine thing. It, it, he was great. Still is. He has told me, uh, son, you'll get your blue eyes back many times I've grown up. And I said, I had blue eyes? Man, he'd sigh and he would say, son, you'll get your memory back too. And sure enough, here I am, Stone Cold Melton, Son of Mary, Dad of working on skyscrapers, Mom Mary Ann. Son of Mary, I get to make parables. And here I am growing a new pair of eyes. I'll try to show you. I'll, I'll be able to get that in before 20 minutes. But Dad said, don't go see old guy. He uh, had taken off his glasses and he kind of you know, wiped them off and put them back on. And then he you know, went to puffing on that big old cigar again. Man, I hated that 70s, you know, that uh, bowl haircut back then. Style. Come see me today. Tear down the Great Wall of Evil. It's been in place since the 70s. For real, guys. You call me up, you can't reach me. You see censorship, you see your lifeline not working and lots of folks claiming to be good take an active part in that so yeah when the mormons are praying <clears throat> on your neighbors p-r-e-y-i-n-g when they're casing your neighborhood for who knows what you wallpaper your neighborhood with those thighs one specifically designed for the mormons and uh, you tell them not to come back to that sales route. You get it done, you get it done every time they show up on your door. I promise it will uh, dissuade them from trying to scam your little, little old ladies, your little grannies, or your little grandpas. They're just looking, looking for somebody to talk to and uh, they're in there to uh, you get that, what well, they call it, tithe money. 
Make that video when you see Spectrum coming. Make that video of uh, your hijacked call. You can just do it in the audio if you want. That'll work. And even if you don't want to do the Geraldo thing, just uh, you don't even have to. You can slip a audio maker in your pocket as you talk to the Mormons, or you talk to uh, Spectrum. You don't have to do that. Uh, just asking about me. We'll keep them from uh, uh, wanting to come back. Now this eye over here is the same eye, I believe, but the color in both is similar. Going over this way is uh, from about nine years ago. Yeah, more likely they were back in the 70s and the 70s, even darker. And this over here is a new eye growing, medical research being passed by. Oh, for those of you in the medical community who might want to find out man, what's going on there, maybe we can help our blind folks with that eyesight problem. Oh, yeah. My eyesight improved. I would never be able to roll around this apartment uh, at, until after 96, uh, 1996, but yeah. Same prescription I had back in college and even before that. I see shapes better near and distant. It's just details on those, uh, those uh, shapes I don't... Uh, Can't read the billboard, but I can see the billboard far enough away, more further than I've ever been able to see before. If that makes any sense to you. But as you can see, the smaller round circles are representing our, the, the old eyes in that one photo, and now they're gone. And the white part is working around, it seems kind of raised at times to me. Looks raised is working on the brown in the center as blue eye DNA takes over for brown eye DNA. Yeah, I'm a genetic carpenter, son of a son of a genetic carpenter. Uh, son of a carpenter, I am a genetic carpenter. Blue eye DNA and brown eye DNA fighting it out with the vocal cords. Don't try this at home, I've been professionally taught. Come see me. Look for. I'm working out today, I'm already a third in. I always do template work at the very end of the month. I look for it soon. I'm a Flickr and my uh, Google Drive download, because you never know when something might happen, you might not be able to reach that site again. And a lot of folks, because uh, of censorship, can't. Download, print out, uh, form those two DVDs worth. It still fits on two DVDs, I bet. You just don't use all the uh, old fives. Just use a 911 Flight 93 check. Quote, that's true. Fives and, yeah. Burn a couple, burn those two sets and burn a hundred of them. And you got some friends coming over for a barbecue this summer or a party. Or you just got them at your business that uh, you know why you're not getting that big business now. But yeah, the guy gets the contract can actually reach them by phone. Hand those DVDs out, tell everyone to check and pose and pop and tell everyone. Sooner you see someone besides that handsome bald guy and his, uh, Is changing eyes and that image is better off. We will all be. We're all be starting on uh, building that better world. Now let me give you a real quick one about uh, Leia and Lacey, the cop princesses. And Leia is up at you know they pulled somebody over. Leia's up at the car and uh, oh I forget the name I used. To. Amanda's in the car and. Uh, she says, I wasn't speeding, I, I, I wasn't doing anything wrong, I was using my blinkers, why did you pull me over? And she hears this, this funny hee-haw kind of laugh coming from the, the squad car back behind. Leia is up at the car, Lacey's back in the car, the squad car, and it's, Lacey's got the hee-haw laugh. And... Uh, 
Amanda yells back, is that you, Lacey? And uh, yeah, Leah finishes writing the ticket as uh, you know, uh, Lacey is on the, the speaker phone of the, uh, the patrol car saying, uh, it's payback, bitch. And then uh, Leah gets back to the car and says, okay, let's do one of mine from high school. <laughs>